Yeah, g'day, Bush Camping Tools here. Well, I've got with me something a little bit different today. This is a, this was sent to me from a company called Archea, A-R-C-H-E-E-R, -E -E from Amazon. And it's a little monocular, okay? So, um, they wanted me to review this and I thought, why not? So, I'll get straight to it. All right, it's um, focusable, focusable from about just under one and a half meters to infinity. The front element definitely looks like it's coated, and so is the rear uh, element here, which is, it's got a diopter adjustment. The focus is on here, like that, okay? And uh, we'll take some pictures in a minute through the camera, but I've got to say, for the cost of these things, which I'll put the cost up in the description, I don't usually at all talk about cost, but this thing is pretty cheap, and there's not many aberrations that I can see for the cost on there, right on the edge of the field of view. You know, there's a little bit of chromatic aberration, but other than that, the image is very sharp, uh, on there and this is fairly low light at the moment and that looks pretty damn good to me now they say it's uh, dust proof and and also waterproof I don't I couldn't figure out what the waterproof rating was but I wouldn't drop any optics into the water it's you know fairly rugged you know uh, within reasons you know no shaking parts on there what I didn't like about it I've been using it now I should say for a couple of weeks had this little lanyard hole on there can you see that there right so this lanyard hole on here, the lanyard clip on there that you could hang around your neck, it broke within no time flat. Absolute garbage, the lanyard clip. But the optics itself, if we want to talk about the optics, they appear to be, you know, pretty good, I would say. I, I, I can't fault them for this, you know, such a small... Yeah, that's deadly sharp, that. That's not quite good. Uh, uh, that's not too bad, actually. In the field, you know, it's got a good depth of field. To it as well you know um, so they say it's uh, 22 degrees uh, field of view okay so it also this um, monocular came with this little pouch and it had a instructions in there that are a bit hard to understand because they are in broken English but um, uh, you know and the rest of it was in Chinese I think the pouch is just ma ma it's a pretty flimsy pouch I don't know how long this would last I'm not using the pouch I've just got it in my pack um, as is you know better off putting it in a sock or something really but the optics look pretty good on it I've got to say um, there's a little aberration with it it's a bit difficult to take pictures through there because it's not set up to have a camera attached on there but I would say that you know that the optics it cost it they're not bad actually they're pretty clear and it says it's all right in low light and we are in low light now and it's pretty sharp it's got a uh, Pretty shallow depth of field. It doesn't say what the aperture is on here. It just says that the field of view is 22 degrees, and it's good in day and night. I mean, that's only because of the optics <coughs> on there, um, and it's 16 by 52 millimeter. Okay, uh, on there. So that's given the focal range on this thing, and this rubberized sort of material on there. So the bottom line is, would I recommend it? I think you know you have to make up your minds for that the cost it's pretty cheap it's easy to put in the pack it weighs uh, quite a little and it could be a good little you know spotting scope for sure out when you're out and about uh, without spending a fortune on there and there is no need to yeah it's pretty sharp I don't have a problem with that you know and the colors are pretty good um, you know let's face it buying optics can be really expensive and if you want something that you're not going to worry too much about and they do say it's dust proof and waterproof as I said it doesn't say in the little blurb that came in the box with it what waterproofness but I could imagine it's only going to be rain resistant it's um unless I pulled it apart and I don't want to do that just yet okay bush camping tools here thanks for watching